everybody, Morgan with Van Anser here, and today I'm making this really unique balloon pillar with a spray on top. This is not your standard balloon pillar and adds a lot of wow to an event space. So follow along and I'll show you how to make it. To build today's pillar, I'm using 21 11 inch balloons in assorted tropical colors. I have eight 646 balloons, 15 260 balloons, and 10 of these will be used for the spray and five of them will be used for assembling the pillar. And finally, I have 20 5 inch balloons and two of these will be attached to each 260 I use in the spray. In addition to the balloons, I'll be using my balloon sizer box to help me get all of my balloons to an equal size, and I'll have the video linked up above if you'd like to make one of these as well. I also have two different balloon pumps here, a hand pump for all of my skinny balloons and my electric inflator for all of my 11 inch balloons. I'm going to start off this project by building the base, and so you're going to take one of the 11 inch balloons and fill it with water, and that will weight down the pillar and make it less tipsy. Then I'm going to take the rest of my 11 inch balloons and split them into two categories. Half of them are going to be 7 inches and half of them are going to be 9 inches. And I'm just going to be using my balloon sizer box here by inflating the balloon and then slowly letting air out until it just fits through the size that I'm looking for. So I'll have 10 7 inch balloons and 10 9 inch balloons to build both my base and the top of my pillar. I'm going to tie these together in sets of five. So I'm going to take my first two balloons and twist them together once, twice, and tie a knot to make a pair. I'm going to set that one aside and pick up two more balloons to create one more pair. And then to that pair, I'm going to be adding a single balloon. And I'll tie that single balloon to the pair, which will give me a triplet. And then I'm going to take both my triplet and my pair and twist those together. And that will make up my set of five. Repeat these steps until you have two 9 inch sets and two 7 inch sets. To assemble the base of the pillar, I've got my water balloon tied to one of the spare 260s. I'm going to snugly place that right in the center of the nozzles of my set of five, and I'm just going to twist that 260 in and out a couple of those balloons to secure everything in place, and then take my 7 inch set of five and snugly place it right against that lower set. And you want to make sure those balloons nestle in between each other and are really secure. And then I'm going to take that 260 and wrap it up and down in a figure eight pattern between the lower balloons and the upper balloons. And this is going to make sure everything is nice and secure so we can build everything else on top of this. Next, I'm going to prepare all the balloons for this spray. I'm going to inflate 10 of the 260s so there's only a one inch section on the end of the balloon left uninflated. I'm going to burp that balloon and tie it off. Then I'm going to inflate my five inch balloons to three pumps each. And before I tie off the balloon, I'm going to give it a rub between my two hands, and that just makes it nice and round and not so pear-shaped. So I'm going to inflate both of the 5-inch balloons and tie them to either end of my 260. And this is just going to add a really fun flare to the spray on top. Once I've done this for all 10 of my 260s, I'm going to take one of them and find the halfway point of the 260 and give it a couple of twists. I'm going to repeat this for my next 260, doing the same thing, and then I'm going to take the two of those and twist them together so that they're interlocked. And then I'm just going to keep adding balloons to this until I have a set of five. I found that five was kind of a good number before I started really having troubles twisting the balloons together. So in the end, I've got two of these with five balloons twisted together, and that's how I'll attach them to the pillar in a moment. The final balloons we have to prepare are for the body. So this is my 646 balloon, and I'm gonna leave about an inch of balloon uninflated on the end, and that's so I can tie these together in a moment. So just make sure there's a nice little knob on the end, and then I'm gonna tie this end off and do that with all of my 646 balloons. Next, I'm gonna tie these together in pairs. So I'm gonna take the nozzles of two different balloons and just simply tie them together. Now, I'm using two different colors of balloons for the body of my pillar, and so I wanna make sure that I'm tying together the same color of balloons together. And that'll make sense in a moment here when I go to put these into a quad. So I've got a set of green and a set of orange, and I wanna make sure I'm using one of each of these, and I'm gonna put them together so that the nozzles touch and then just twist them together, and that will secure them so that they're one piece. Repeat this so you have two of these quads, and now we're finally ready to start building the pillar. I'm going to be securing the base to the quad that I just made with a 260 balloon, and it's important that these are really snugly placed together. So I'm going to take the quad and press it right down in the center 
of that base and with that 260 I'm going to hold it in one hand and then wrap that balloon underneath the base and come back around and tie it together really tightly. The tighter this is, the more stable your pillar is going to be. If it's too loose, it may start to tilt on its own. So I'm just going to make sure I have a really nice snug connection before I add the next layer. Then I'm going to add the second set of 646 balloons right on top of the one we just secured. And I want to make sure the balloons weave in and out of each other so there's only one balloon between each of the lower balloons. And basically we're going to capture this second set inside of the previous set. So I'm going to grab two of the orange balloons from the lower level wrap them up around the ones we just captured and tie those two together. I then grabbed the two green balloons from the lower level and tied those together as well. And then once those were tied together, I just snugged it up with the nozzles of the orange balloons and this is what it looked like. So once you've got those tied together, I'm then gonna take the second level of balloons and tie them together as well. The tension between these two layers of balloons is enough to hold the pillar upright. And now we can finally add the topper to this pillar. So I've got my last two sets of five, my seven inch and nine inch balloons, and just like we did with the base, I'm gonna secure these two together with an extra 260 balloon and tie those off. And then I'm gonna flip this over so that the nine inch balloons are on top. And to this, I'm gonna add my spray balloons. So we've got those two sets of five, and I'm gonna lay them right on top of each other in the center of those nine inch balloons. Gently press down on them and then secure one more 260 to the center of the spray and then wrap it underneath the nine inch balloons and then come back up and tie it right on top of this spray. Once that's all secured, I'm just gonna do a little bit of arranging of the spray balloons, making sure they're all facing upwards, mixing up the colors so they're nice and diverse. Once I'm satisfied with the look of the spray, I'm gonna pick it up and using the last 260, I'm gonna attach it to the rest of the pillar. So with that 260, I'm gonna just weave it in and out of some of those seven inch balloons and then bring it down underneath two of those 646s and tie it really snugly because we don't want this to tilt at the last minute. And I'm just gonna weave in the tails of that 260 until you can't see them anymore. I hope you're inspired by today's video and give this unique balloon pillar a try at your next gathering. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you join our creative community as I do all kinds of balloon tutorials, event setup tips and decorations, and all kinds of things to make sure your party is a success. So until the next time, you can check out some of the videos over here. And remember, stay creative!